So aside from its billions worth of budget and lack of legislative or police power, why do you think we should abolish the MMDA? As you said earlier, this is in line with the president's call for rights-hacking program of the national government. Because it is my belief that MMDA is just a redundancy to the other uh, national and local agencies function. So we are just wasting billions and billions of pesos with this uh, government who is, I mean, we have to choose. Ano po ba ang uh, mas malaki dito? Yung malaki yung budget? We are giving them uh, billions of budget. Is it worth it? So this is very timely for the call of the press. So the goal of the yes, but the goal of the Metropolitan uh, Manila Development Authority is to come up with dev- developmental plans to help the 16 cities to develop the 16 cities and one municipality that comprises the NCR or Metro Manila. So who will consolidate and carry out urban projects in the whole of Metro Manila without the MMDA? Well, I have already said that in my uh, privilege speech. I have farmed out and distributed the uh, functions of the MMDA. Um, let, let's take, for example, the development development planning. So we can just give it to the NEDA, the National Economic and Development Authority. The transport and traffic management, give it to the OTR, NLTO. The solid waste disposal management, the ENR. The sewerage management and sanitation, MWSS, urban renewal zoning and land use planning, the LGU, and the uh, uh, Department of Human Settlement and Urban Development, public health, the Department of Health, public safety, LGU. So, lahat naman po yan, ginagawa na ng national government at ng local. Eh. We will have to maintain the... No, the Regional Coordinating Council through the uh, Metro Manila mayors, but this time not under the MMDA, but under the DILG. Under the DILG, because early, yes. uh, earlier you said uh, you would have the NCR Coordinating Council. Uh, yeah, take under, the D- uh, under the DILG. The DILG. But the, uh, the Metro Manila Council is composed of mayors of those yes. cities. Metro Manila, but don't they already have enough responsibility to govern their own city? And uh, how could they govern the whole of the metropolitan district uh, aside from governing their own cities? Na nga po, ano? Well, basically, the, the, the function of the MMDA is just governmental function. It's just a coordinating council. I, I mean, it's just coordinating uh, bodies. So, magko-coordinate lang naman ng kailangan. Yun lang naman talaga ang trabaho ng MMDA. In fact, if you will check Section 9 of uh, Republic Act Number no. 7924, and I quote, MMDA shall, in carrying out its function, consult, coordinate, and work closely with the LGUs and the NEDA and other national government agencies. So kung may mga ibababa mga proyekto dito, nandiyan ang lahat sa mutsaring uh, national government agencies. And I think the, the local po sila, they, in fact, they have already agreed with the one ticketing system. So nangyayari naman po yan eh. With this, malaki pa matitipid po natin sa national budget. So you brought it up na rin po, sir. Ano? So how will this affect the current ongoing project of the MMDA, the single ticketing system, under the Unified Metro Manila Traffic Code, which is supposed to be implemented by the end of the month or next month? So uh, MMDA spearheaded that project, which will make it easier for everyone who gets stuck in traffic and uh, would uh, who violated the traffic law so they can easily pay yung mga traffic violations na yun on the spot with all of with those uh, new devices that they have with the enforcers so if you plan uh, if you plan to move against uh, MMDA how will that affect the project the single ticketing system because actually yung LTO po ngayon uh, meron po silang uh, pro- program to 
digitalize issuance of traffic citation tickets. So parang ganun din naman eh. Di ba? So we can do if we delegate lang natin ito sa LTO, yun na rin yun eh. Sir, you mentioned po ano, uh, repeatedly during your during the plenary session as well that the billions of pesos are going into the MMDA. So you so the plan the right sizing plan one of its goal is to actually uh, reduce reduce the budget para makatipid ho ano so yes. sa, sa tingin po ninyo where are those billions of pesos going into uh, the budget of the MMDA which you claim to be bigger than other governmental agencies so where do you think those billions of pesos are going well actually during my privilege speech Meron na kong sinight na po report, di ba? So may mga project sila like flood control. Of course, siyempre may mga PS diyan, yung personal services, yung pagbabayad diyan. Yung uh, meron silang mga flood control projects, meron silang mga uh, various other projects not completed. So kaya nga when um my privilege speech papunta na po ito sa committee level, we will try to ask them the status of this COA report. So so that we will know, so that the people will know what is happening to this 10 billion pesos that uh, the, LG, the LGU and the, and the GAA uh, is giving them. So doon siguro malalaman po natin. Okay, sir. So your, so your suggestion with the abolition of MMDA, the other agencies such as the DPWH, DNR, MWSS, and so on will split the responsibility of MMDA. So do you because plan... What, because what is happening now, nag-aagawan sila ng project. Eh. You know, um, like for example, yung mga flood control, it used to be under uh, DPWH. Nung pumasok po itong uh, MMDA, I think during the time of uh, Bayani Fernando yata. So ito pong ni Chairman Bayani Fernando. So itong flood control, kinuha na rin nila. But before, nasa WH, like for example, itong mga pumping station sa mga kalye, um, majority of the pumping stations are... Um, under the our projects of, of uh, DPWH here in NCR. So, kumbaga, duplication ng function eh. Ginagawa ng DPWH, ginagawa nila. Ginagawa ng NEDA, ginagawa rin nila. So, we are paying for, for, an, for, for this agency, which is in MMDA, who is only duplicating the functions of the national government and the local government. Republic Act Number no. 7924 is the law that created MMDA. So when yes. do you plan on passing the law in abolishing MMDA? Well, anytime now, we're still in the process of uh, drafting it. And um, anyway, pupunta naman po to sa committee level, ito pong uh, ating privilege speech, so that um, we will see kung ano pa yung mga suggestions ng iba pa ibang mga congressmen and um, so that when we pass this uh, law, medyo pulido na at mas maayos pa. Of course, we will get the suggestions of other... Yes, sir. Some, one of the Senate, uh, Senate Local Government Committee Chairman, J.B. Ejercito, opposed the abolition of the MMDA. So saying that it will be hmm. difficult if we lose MMDA as a, it has such a big responsibility. What do you say to this? Of course, that is his opinion and I respect the opinion of a good senator. But uh, for me, ito nga po yung nakikita ko dito. Anyway, ito naman pong uh, uh, proposal is just a proposal. It's going to be a long process. Dadaan pa po sa uh, committee level and then after that, we will discuss it in the plenary. And uh, after which, if ever, if and when this uh, proposal is uh, approved, in Congress, iaakit pa po sa Senate. So masyadong mahaba pa po ito. So marami pa po itong... Uh... But at least, um, wake up po ito dito sa MMDA uh, to, do the, to do their mandate and not to go what is uh, not within their mandate. So, and also for the national government to maybe to consider this proposal. I'm just one of the three, more than 300 congressmen 
So, hindi naman po lahat ng mga proposal ng mga congressman na approve agad yan eh. All right, thank you so much, sir. Manila 3rd District Representative Joel Chua. Thank you so much for your insights.